Okay, so I just had this idea and then I rambled on. Okay, anyway, so um, Love Don't Judge is, um, I think it's a YouTube channel or it's a TV show. I'm not sure. Um, but they just talk about different things. Yeah, so they have like all types of different love. Oh, I'm thinking of something else just popped in my head. Okay, yeah. Um, but for the most part, I just made a video about, um, straight trans people, how they're confusing. I mostly just talk about in that episode, um, in that video and everything like that, about an episode that I saw that talked about, they have more than one, about, um, this is usually really the other way around, yeah. Um, but they talked about a trans couple, I think it was because of the video I'd seen and I clicked on it because he was like, I'm not gay. Um, yeah. Okay, um, so there was a trans woman, but we don't know if they got bottom surgery or not, but they clearly look like a woman and they're clearly very much passing and they're a woman. Um, and you look at it and you're like, yeah, obviously the guy's straight and he's not gay because he's into a woman. But then you're like, oh, but the woman was a guy. You're like, um, eh, then I became a little guy. Um, but then also, if he's like 100% straight, and if he hasn't got bottom surgery, they might break up, and they might just not be intimate. Um, but that's very unlikely because, you know, couples. <laughs> they like to be intimate. They're all about it, you know? Okay, um, but yeah. So, um, if she got bottom surgery, then he could say that he's like 100% straight, like he's saying, but since he's like pushing on it and he keeps saying like he's the alpha male and all that crap. And it's kind of, like, toxic and, like, maybe not the best person. And there were a lot of people in the comments that were very worried. And I didn't, like, I don't remember if I paid attention to the entire video. <laughs> so I was like, I don't, I don't, I didn't examine it. I was like, maybe, maybe it was the cameras, but maybe, maybe he was maybe possible toxic. I was like, now I'm a little concerned. Basically, I was like, ain't training right, then you gotta leave. I know you're like, oh. But, like, he's the only guy who willingly say, like, oh, I'm, like, with a trans woman. Because apparently all the guys, like, are into that and they like it. But they just want it willing to admit it and... Also, doesn't make any sense about being them, being like, oh, like, I'm not into you suddenly. I was like, no, it's a girl. Do you like girls? And you, you thought they were hot five minutes ago, so, yeah. Oh, and then, um, there was another thing in the comments, because I went on comment control and everything. I was recording a lot of them, um, like, disliking them and everything like that. I got basically comments. Um, because like, oh, I'm not a real woman, and then, um, the whole, like, misunderstanding that it's gay. I was like, well, it's a guy and a girl, so, not gay. Um, yeah. Um, but he might be bisexual. Um, but then he also might be toxic, because he was kept pushing the alpha male thing. Um, so, yeah. But if she is not more happy than that, and does not outweigh the being upset, and, um, not treating very, especially since, like, it seemed like he's, he was talking, mostly it seemed like he was complaining about losing all his friends and everything, because he was dating a trans woman, and I was like, um, he got, like, really toxic friends, and he doesn't find, like, a good friend group to, like, back it up, he might get that bad negativity out on his partner, and since he didn't have good reliable friends, then he might just, that, that might not be a great sign, and you should keep your eyes open, you know, just, just watch out for it, because if he ain't treating you right, you should leave, otherwise you might just have an abusive relationship, and you don't want that. You want to be happy and healthy. Okay, um, so, yeah. I know, but they were basically pretty happy overall, uh, overall, and I was like, you're happy, so it's fine, do whatever you want, um, that's how it usually is with most of the videos anyway. Okay, um, and then, there was one I was just like, I was just shocked and confused about, because I was like, there's a lesbian couple, and one of them looks like a child, um, but apparently it's just like, a disability, or like, it's not in growth and everything like that, but medical condition, so she is the appropriate age, and they're like, maybe looking for two apart, or like three years or whatever, apparently, so they just got through. Um, but yeah, and you just learn about their life, and I was like, oh, I guess they're too happy, and they got married, whatever. Um, and then, so yeah, most of the relationship was kind of just interesting. I was just like, oh, cool. Um, I was more just like, interested, so I wish what it was about, and then I learned more about it, and I was like, yeah, he's like straight. Um, or maybe bisexual, but apparently, not a fan of that. <laughs> not a fan of that label, apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, there were some people in the comments who were like, genuinely like, curious and everything, I didn't answer them. Um, and some people who seemed like, more negative, and like, some people like, very hostile. Oh, the thing was, like, they were like, oh, you can obviously tell that, was a, that girl was a guy. He's a guy. I was like, that doesn't make sense. You probably couldn't tell everything when I watched this video. <laughs> you would have not watched this video if you fucking knew. Like, there, there's no way you, you know this person. You would have not watched the video. You obviously thought it was a girl, and then you found this guy, and then you just guessed it, and you're like, oh, I totally told that. I can see that you can. So, um, and also, I found this, um, I had this little experience at work, and like, oh, I can tell it, whatever. Um, yeah, no, you can. And then someone was like, nice at work, and they were like, what are your friends? And they were like, tell them, and they were like, you can, and then they were like, oh, that's what I thought, but I was gonna tell you, but they're not, they're not, they're not. And I was like, that's nice. <laughs> well, that was a lot nicer than, I was like, y'all know, they're not the standard assholes we met at work. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, also, because they also apparently on the platform and everything, um, FTM Brotherhood platform, on Facebook and everything like that, they were talking about it, and he was like, oh, but like, people will say shit at work, and they'll be like, oh, we call in, and we were like, oh, girl, and everything like that, they call you girl and girl, and everything like that. Um, and they were like, no, that's not true. They just want to say that they knew it, and that they saw it, and that they knew your gender, and that they were right about it, and they just want to be right, and they just want to be an asshole, and that's okay, then. Okay, um, but yeah, so that's all that was. Okay, um, anyway, and then for that age gaps, um, I went after I made the video and everything like that. I went back and I watched it because I made a confirmation of like all the videos, or like four videos or so. Um, and they're almost like all like 30 plus, almost like 40 and, like years apart. And I was like, oh my god, it's insane. And then I like actually looked it up, um, and everything like that. And they were like, oh, normal relationships are only like three years apart. Um, and like even if you're like five years apart, people don't like blink their eyes or whatever. And they're like, oh, maybe you care a little bit if you're like 10 years apart, but don't really care. If you're like seven or 10 years apart, but like if you're like 20, and they're like, oh no, that's my issue. But then if you're like, oh, 30, and like beyond, they're like, no, <laughs> out of the window. <laughs> um, so I was wrong about that. Um, 
and then I was confused about because I was like, oh, maybe I should make them sell some millennials, and then I was like, wait, I'm overtaking the millennials, their, their age range, and only overweight for me, so I don't have to go that far. And I was like, less than 10 years is the goal. <laughs> I relate to other people. Um, yeah, I cannot relate to my peers. Um, anyway, but yeah, you can probably for me, you can right now. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, then, but the couple I've seen before in that relationship, also, um, he was like, that's a scout or anything like that. Clearly, um, yeah, I'm a different woman. Um, and then, oh, but also, like, there's this huge thing about white people being like, um, do I tell this? <laughs> like, do I tell you? And my understanding, my idea of everything was, was like, no, you do not tell them. Um, and I was like, especially, you don't like, okay. Maybe you have problems with your age, you know? Unless, like, you only like fucking married them or some shit, you know? <laughs> You're like, I see a future, you see, like, a long future with us, then maybe you can tell them. Especially not if, like, they're not, like, an asshole, or maybe, like, sooner if, like, they're queer or they're an ally or something like that, then you can tell them. But, for the most part, no, you don't have to tell them shit. And then, even if you have a problem with you don't have to tell them shit. You don't gotta tell them anything unless you, like, unless it's, like, an issue, or, like, something you gotta bring up through, like, over and then maybe you should bring it up, you know? <laughs> but you don't gotta tell people. <laughs> you don't gotta teach them shit. You don't gotta know nothing. <laughs> they don't need to know anything about you. I don't care. It's none of their business. They are not on your body, in your body. They don't touch your body. None, none of them happen. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, obviously, if something is happening, then, like, let them know. But that's also up to the person. And I was like, everyone's different, so you can have different levels, like, different levels of discussion. I was like, you can tell them whenever you're ready. Um, but, yeah. Especially since most people have, like, really negative, like, negative response. And, like, you don't want that hostility in your life. Especially since all, like, on the date, you're probably going to figure out, you're like, oh, this person's an asshole. We never meet again. I was like, you're probably going to learn some negative qualities about them on the date before you even get to that point. So you, you don't know. You, you gotta, you can learn a lot of her pain if you do not tell them right away. I was like, should we wait until their real personality is revealed? And then you're like, oh, that's a good one. And like, especially because like, after you reveal it, like, you might do some shit, they're a bad person. And then they like, playing good, and then you tell them, and then they react, and then you're like, you, you are a fucking asshole. Okay. I diverted. We're running away from the bomb now. We're getting out of this relationship. You are very toxic. And they're probably gonna end the relationship anyway. And then also, um, since he's straight and everything like that, if she like ever do transition, they're like, oh, I'm gonna die now, they would tell you right now. Um, but you'd probably be like, uh, seems like you'd totally be like an asshole about it. <laughs> That's what it seemed like, because I was like, all this straight, like, out of energy, then like, I was a little concerned about it. I was like, are you okay? You're gonna be okay. You seem happy, but if he treats you like shit, please. They're like, oh, he's so different because he's nice and honest about it. I was like, you can find a good man somewhere else. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure you can find a bisexual man who will treat you better. <laughs> Go find him. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, and then I think a while ago, like at work and everything, there was this guy, oh, he was like, yeah, I met him for like five minutes, and he was like, oh, like, what's your friend and everything like that? And I told him, uh, I was like, yeah. Um, and he's like, he told me something else, and I was like, I don't know what that is, but I was like, this means you're not an asshole. <laughs> you're like an ally, and like, you're open to people and everything. I was like, you're probably willing to date like a trans person. But that's just what it means, because I don't know what he called it, but it was something. He's like, I'm something sexual, and I was like, I'm um, But he was attracted to women who might have masculine features, and I was like, that's just a girl. A girl who might have been a guy before being a girl, but they were a girl. He just like girls. This makes you straight, but it's not a complete asshole. <laughs> you're just not an asshole. <laughs> that's all it is. Um, your, your type is a little bit broader, and you're willing to treat a trans person, basically. That's what it means. Um, yeah. And then, like, I think he was saying, was, like, his girlfriend was, like, bisexual or whatever. He's like, you are a supportive ally who might be a little bit fluid with your sexuality. Just a little bit. You're mostly straight, but you might be a little bit in the middle or something. So that's a little bit. If you're not straight, because you said you were something else. I'm confused about that. I don't remember what he said. <laughs> but I didn't get it the first time, so it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, and then, okay, let's see. Okay, but before, um, randomly, what I thought of before, I was like, oh, um, the whole yes address thing, was there was, like, a uh, trans. Oh, there was a trans couple. And the guy was this. She was just a bodybuilder, I think. Oh, no, actually, I think there was a couple. I think I got confused because there was just, like, a group of guys and girls that came in with their, um, trans woman friend who was getting married, and they're from that I think it was that. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, and then, oh, because I usually remember and I watched, like, the, they're like, oh, you look different, you're not, like, typical. Um, together, especially since I was, like, trying to find something that stood out, because I was, like, I've seen Ali before. <laughs> just watched all that I could find on YouTube, especially since I was, like, it's the only thing I can watch with my family. <laughs> it's the safe thing to watch. <laughs> safe place to show queerness. <laughs> you know? Um, and I was, like, oh. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I was, like, this is, like, a kind of queer, like, show. Because I didn't, I hadn't seen, like, queer before, and I found queer, and I was, like, I'm not really popular queer, I don't know. Like, how open are you? You're supportive, how supportive are you? You know, you're the other. <laughs> and even if, like, you're always supportive, does that mean you all watch this queer thing with me? Like, oh, and then I didn't know, I watched it, I was, like, basically, I was, like, sister, I want to watch this French. Oh, the movie was fucking horrible, though. <laughs> this French gay film. That's what I was, like, let's watch this. And I came out of them, and they were, like, okay, supportive, and then I was, like, oh my god, that was a horrible fucking movie. Because, like, uh, I don't think the boyfriend was that great, and they got together. And then the father literally, like, grounded and watched his, like, in prison, his son in his room. And then was, like, talking about sending him away and everything. And I was like, oh my god, this is horrible. And, like, uh, dad also, like, acted really violent. And I was like, oh my god, it's really dangerous. And then, like, he ran away from home and everything. And I was like, they ran away together, kind of. And, like, ran away and then he got the end. And then it seemed like his mother was gonna get a divorce and he smelled like his mother now. That's what it looked like. <laughs> so then he leaves the boyfriend again. And then I was like, oh my god, this is really, really bad. <laughs> Not a great message. I was like, really, I was like, your boyfriend's a little toxic. I was like, a little bit like a bully. And you're dating him, and like, I get like his dad's like abusive and shit, but and he's even more abusive now that he knows his son came out, but you know, not really great relationship. <laughs> yeah, um, a little concerned there. Not, not, not necessarily we should be teaching people, uh, but yeah. But then after that, um, but then I was like, I should have remembered and I should have been like, I watched that. We can watch whatever the fuck, <laughs> you know, we watch whatever together. That type of thing. Um, but, but then also, yeah, I was also very confused. And I was also really interested for a while, so I kind of wanted to be designed, and I was kind of like, whatever. Um, and I was like, oh, this key dress is not key dress, like, I had like a whole file, just like, full. I'm like a school computer, I was like, I was bored, so I looked up, almost all the time, I was like, I looked up pretty dresses, and I looked up the file, and I looked up cute animals, mostly dolphins, horses, cats,
Um, but the only like couples I'd seen before was where there was either where they were like both trans um, in a straight relationship, or they had or the um, there was the cis um, straight or bisexual woman, and um, they're like trans husband or something like that. So yeah, so I didn't really like see many of these couples. I hadn't really seen where there was the straight cis man with the trans woman. Um, yeah, and then there was like a bunch of like ACAS videos, and then some like random like BDSM type ones. And then, like, some, like, poly ones. Well, for the most part, there were just, like, ones where they had, like, a bunch of wives, and I was like, I don't know about this. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what you're doing. Like, I know you're a poly relationship, but then, like, I don't really get it. Um, a few of them I got, because I was like, oh, it's just, like, a woman and her husband got married, and then she also found love, and she got a girlfriend. And they do their own, like, separate thing. Oh, mostly because I'm, like, I'm not sure about it when there's, like, a bunch of guys, and, uh, one guy and a bunch of girls. Because I was like, that's your harem thing, especially since, um, I was watching this woman go on a date, and she did this guy, she went on his trial dates and everything, she's trying to find a woman or something like that, um, it's mostly just a dating show, um, and she went on a couple dates with the guy, and she went on a couple dates with girls, girls and guys, and she's like, I'm bisexual, I'll try whatever, yeah, um, and so she did with one guy, and he's like, oh, you're, like, bisexual, that's cool, but, like, I would only date, like, a straight or bisexual woman, like, and I'd want, and I would want, um, an, like, open relationship for the most part, I just want a poly relationship, but I mostly just want a threesome, basically, he's like, I want two girls, yeah, that's what I want, I want two girls who aren't into me, and I guess they can be together, I guess, basically, yeah. basically, he was like, I'm into lesbian porn, and and I want to see that in, like, in our relationship, and like, that's not how it's gonna work. <laughs> he just wants two girls to be into him and into each other. He basically just wants them to be each other in front of him, and then do him. That's just ridiculous. And she was like, yeah, this is kind of a toxic relationship. This is not a good thing. I'm not dating you anymore. Uh, we're done with our date. Nope, I will never see you again. That's how I did. And I was like, yep, I agree. Never see that man ever again. It seems very toxic. It's not what you want in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, but, and the, one of them that was, like, where there was a girlfriend thing, I was just completely separate. She was, like, lesbian. So, they would just still bite on her. The wife was with her girlfriend, and she had her own, like, separate room and everything, and she moved in with them. And they would be together, and the guy, the husband, would only ever be with his wife and whatever. Obviously, he was a lesbian, because he's not, because she's not him. That just makes sense. Um, but then I was trying to get into relationships, and then I realized more of um, one couple. I was like, because I saw I saw a few videos on poly relationships like that. They were like, oh, like my my husband and his girlfriend, that kind of thing. Um, but instead of that, it was more of just where there was this one couple who they um, found girl, they got married, and then they broke up, well, they got divorced, um, and then they had a relationship. So they're dating, and then they added guys and girls, and then they all do each other basically. So like, you're all both basically bisexual, or at least there's like. So, like, some of you are, some of the guys are bisexual and gay and stuff like that in a relationship. Some, guys, some of the girls are lesbians, some of them are bisexual. So, they all can be sexual to each other. And I was like, that's more healthy than it for us, <laughs> And I was more of just being like, the guy needs to be, like, bisexual. <laughs> there needs to be not just, like, one man, like, trying to dominate all these women and all the crap. Um, and then there was this um, one woman who was talking about being plus size or anything like that. Um, and how she was, like, bored in the crap because she got married and she was dating a woman. Um, it was like, the gay thing, they're gonna do crap. And then there was six different crap for the size and everything like that. Um, that wasn't really a big deal or anything like that. And then the friend brought up like concern. He was like, I was a little worried just because of the like, size difference. Because I was like, she's a lot smaller than you, so you might just like her on accident. But like, I saw you guys together and you're like, oh, you've been on accident, that would just never happen. And you would never want to hurt her, and even like if you were mad or had an argument, that's not how you work, and that's not who you are. And this is something you would ever do. Um, and that's just not how it worked out. And they were planning to add like another girl to their group, and I was like, also like, yeah. Um, and I think they had like gone married when they were dating. Um, but yeah, they had a relationship, but yeah, so they're kind of different. I'm just like, just from the queer episodes. Oh, and then, yes, and so yes, the rest, I'm just talking about you. Um, I'm gonna judge. Um, but also another thing I thought I had to discuss was, um, this, um, there's like one episode, they might have had another one later on, but I think it was like the only one, um, where they had a lesbian couple, they were getting married and everything, and then they were both getting dressed. Um, they were both getting dresses. Yeah. They might have been the only one because not many of them um, would go to like the same shop and everything, or go on TV and be on TV, and also there aren't many of them anyway, and they wouldn't get together and all that crap. Um, <laughs> and a lot of them would probably just want suits and crap and not dress, but they wanted both them dresses. Um, and then they would both pick out the dresses and everything like that, which is really cool. Um, yeah. Okay, I don't remember anything in my notebook or something like that. Okay, yeah. But, do, 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 I can't remember anything else. Um, oh, there were like one or like maybe two. Um, there was like one where this girl was like, I think there were like two because I was like, there was one where it was. Non-disabled guy was dating a disabled girl, and there was a non-disabled girl dating a disabled guy. And a lot of people, they got judgment because a lot of people were like, oh, you're after his money or something. Um, they were like, that's not the case. That's how this works. <laughs> it's not how it is. We do love each other. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And mostly just focuses on couples that are different and everything. And mostly just only remember the queer ones because I don't usually watch other ones. So I was like, you're not interesting. I just don't get it. A lot of it. And especially since they're like, they're trying to be different, but I was like, you were the same. <laughs> I was like, this is a great couple trying to be special. That's what it looks like. <laughs> They're like, hey, I'm different. I was like, no, you're not. You're not different. You're the same as everybody else. Discussion <sighs> uh, meeting. Okay, I don't know what to do. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that should be everything that I remember. 